Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And on this short video, and it will be short, I'm going to show you how to check a thermostat. Now, these thermostats are used in the cooling system of a car, normally, and motorcycles, anything really with an internal combustion engine. And its job is to stay closed to allow the engine to warm up and to get to operating temperature really as quickly as possible because engines are more efficient that way and there's less emissions going on and then once they're at that temperature it should open and allow the coolant to flow to the radiator now there's a lot more information about cooling systems and stuff on one of my other videos so if you're really interested in finding all that kind of stuff out then please do watch that video there's heaps of stuff to go out there but this one is specifically about testing a thermostat now if you look very carefully on a thermostat you might be able to see on there Yep, you can see that. We've got 82 degrees C stamped on the thermostat. And that tells us this thermostat should open at 82 degrees C. And you can get different rated thermostats. Some open at 80, some open at 84, some open at 86. And the trend on modern engines is for the, engine to, uh, for the thermostat to open later. To regulate the temperature of the engine, um, actually higher than the older engines and the reason for that is again down to emissions the engines are more efficient if they're running a bit hotter um, which makes the threshold for cooling them a lot narrower and that's why modern car engines have cooling issues um, well, they're a bit, a bit pernickety now just what before we test this there's also a little jiggle valve thing there look okay now whenever you fit a thermostat no matter where it is on the car if it's in the horizontal plane then it doesn't really matter where that jiggle valve goes. Again, check the manual for the car, but usually it shouldn't matter too much. If, however, the thermostat is mounted in the vertical plane, like this, then that jiggle valve should always be at the top. Now you say to me, what's the purpose of a jiggle valve, Andy? Well, the purpose of a jiggle valve is to help purge the system of any air. So if you're replacing the coolant on your vehicle, that jiggle valve is really important to making sure you get all the air out of the system. And if you put a new thermostat in and put the jiggle valve not at the top, then there's a good chance you're going to have trapped air in that system. Okay, so to test this, we need to basically mimic what goes on in the engine as regards the cooling system. So I've stolen a kettle. Yep, we don't have one in the workshop. And we're going to submerge that in the water, turn the kettle on. I've got a, a, a digital thermometer that's going to measure the temperature increase. And as soon as we get to 82 degrees, I'm going to pull this out and see if it's open. I might even be able to set the whole thing up where we can watch it open on the camera, and that would be really cool. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so I've made a little a uh, jig thing. Yeah, I know it looks a bit odd. But we can hang that on there like that, because we can't put our fingers in there. It's felt way too hot. And now we can dangle that into the water. Okay, let's give it a go. Right, so we'll just dangle that down. You can see our thermometer submerged in the water as well. There we go, that's good. Okay, now it's really important with the thermometer that we don't have it touching any sides of the kettle. Right, we'll just get the old uh, thermometer fired up. Okay, so we're at 58 degrees C at the moment. We'll turn on the temperature, uh, turn on the kettle. And remember, it was 82 degrees is the opening temperature for that thermometer. And even brand new thermostats, sorry, the opening for the thermostat, even brand new thermostats that come out of the factory can be faulty. It's always prudent to test the thermostat or a thermostat before you hit it. Now, a thermostat opening too soon uh, could result in things like heavy fuel consumption, uh, engines running a bit too cool, never, get, never really gets up to operating temperature. The interior heater of the vehicle isn't really very good, it's, it's lukewarm, it's not hot like the customer wants. Um, and the temperature opening too late could result in things like you know, overheating of the engine, um, boiling over the radiator coolant, that kind of thing. So thermostats play a really important part in modulating the engine temperature to the desired temperature. If you just take the thermostat out, which some people seem to do to try and improve, in inverted commas, cooling, um, 
In actual fact, it can change the circulation of the water around the engine to what the manufacturer has designed. And that in itself can actually make the engine run hotter, not cooler. So taking thermostats out, or drilling holes in thermostats, is never really a good idea, and I certainly don't recommend it. If your engine's overheating, there's an underlying fault, and that's what you should be fixing. Okay, so we're up to 74 degrees C. We're not too far off 75. So I'll just bring that into, into view of the camera. We're not really... No, we're not open yet. Stick it back in the water again. Very quickly climbing now. 78, 79... 80 degrees C, so very close. Are we open yet? Nope, we're not open. 81, 82. Go we'll turn that off for a second. I think we're warm enough as it is. I want it just, just to sort of maintain that temperature for a bit. Has it opened? That's the question. Well, nope, hasn't opened yet. So we'll turn the jug on and we'll see what temperature we get up to before it actually activates. It should be open now. 82 degrees is the temperature it should be open at. And it hasn't opened. Nope, not yet. So we're at 89, 90 degrees C and it still hasn't opened. Let's just give it a minute before we actually start to go any higher. It's just starting to open actually now. There you go. So at 90 degrees C it's opening. If you can see that on the camera or not, but you can see there's a little gap now just between the valve and the casing. It's actually closed as we're watching it, so we'll stick it back in the water. And we'll just see if it opens fully at 90 degrees C, because that water will maintain temperature for a few minutes. So you can see on the thermostat, I won't take out the water because it will react straight away and cool down again, but we have got a gap now, which is showing the thermostat open, but it's not fully open, it should open a lot more than that. Very, very sluggish is this one. It is opening slightly more, but it should, be, it should open to about twice that. Okay, so we'll continue to warm it up, kettle back on again. Take it up another few degrees. Okay, so we've got it to about 95 degrees now, and that's about fully open, that's about as far as most thermostats will open. And if you look at that on the camera, you can see now very clearly that we've got quite a large opening point on there, and the coolant can pass through quite easily. But as it cools down, and it will cool down pretty quick, you'll see now it's starting to close again. And it's important to check not only the original thermostat, but also to check 
the new one that you're going to fit in the car. Um, only too often have I seen mechanics fit, just take a thermostat out of the package and chuck it in the car, put the new gasket on, bolt it all up, go and do a road test and find there's still a fault. Come back and they're looking at all sorts of other stuff and then they find ultimately it's a faulty thermostat. So there you go, it's a fail. So, testing a thermostat, actually very simple, uh, you do need a bit of kit and you do need to also obviously you know, have some kind of temperature measuring device. Obviously electronic thermometers are, are the best, they're far more accurate than the, the old analog style. When it comes to, th to thermostats, you know, you, it, it's got to open at 82 degrees. If it says 82, de 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 sorry, 82 degrees on the thermostat, that's the point it should be open. And this thermostat was open about halfway at 92 degrees. That's 10 degrees. So, no, sorry, 90 degrees. So that was, you know, 8 degrees more than it should have been. And it didn't fully open until 95 degrees. So a huge fail. And that would mean that the engine that this, um, that this thermostat's installed into will be running way hotter than it should do and there's far more chance that the coolant system is going to fail it's going to be overcome by the heat of the engine it's going to be unable to, to keep that engine within its desired operating temperature range basically the gauge on the dash is going to be running high all the time because of this component um, and you tend to find with with coolant systems that there's a number of faults it's a compound effect you know the, all the components in there the radiator is a bit blocked the fan doesn't spin quite as fast as it used to do um, the thermostat's lazy or it's not opening in time um, plus all the pipes and around the water jacket it's got a bit of rust in there so the coolant doesn't flow quite as quickly so the water pump's having to work a bit harder you know there's all sorts of faults and you shouldn't just go ha i found the problem put a new one in and that's it fixed Put this in and check all the other bits. Put, put a new one in uh, and check all the bits. It is really important that you fit a new, when you fit a new thermostat, that you do test that thermostat before you fit it. Um, some of the cheaper aftermarket ones are renowned for not being within specification. Uh, the way that they work, by the way, is they have a wax element in this core here. And as they warm up, the wax obviously expands due to thermal expansion. Uh, and that's what causes the valve to open. Other faults with these things, well, the spring can break so they don't shut properly. Uh, they can corrode away, you can pull them out and there's bits of them disappeared, gone somewhere. Um, jiggle valve seized shut, all that kind of thing. Or maybe they've got damaged or bent somehow. Somebody's these levered it out with a screwdriver, bent it and then just put it back in again thinking it'd be fine. And actually it's jammed, jammed shut, jammed open, whatever. Okay, I told you it would be a short video. That's it, we've got to the short bit. Um, Hope you found that helpful. My name is Andy Young. I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down the bottom. Um, if you found this video interesting and helpful, then please do subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll get notifications of any new videos that get uploaded. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching. Cheers. Over and out.